Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to News Now, and uh, I'm really sorry for uploading this video late. Um, things just got a little bit busy with me in terms of studying, so um, I didn't have a chance to make this on time. But uh, two videos are due today, so you're not missing out. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about this uh, thing called Arrow, and uh, you probably might or might not know what I'm talking about, but I'm talking about the TV show Arrow. Um, season, f season 5 uh, was revealed um, on uh, the trailer, at least, was revealed at Comic-Con 2016. And today I'm here to talk about my impressions on Arrow, because uh, actually right before that trailer came out at Comic-Con, I started watching it on Netflix for free, because it was on Netflix. And uh, I watched the first season already, the complete first season. Um, and here are my impressions on it. So before I actually talk about my opinions, let's talk a little bit about the facts. It stars uh, Stephen Amell as Green Arrow. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. And uh, he actually reminds me of Cromarty from TSCC. Um, so, yeah, I kind of thought he was the same person until I looked at them both up on IMDb. It turned out to be different people. Anyway, um, for season one, which I watched, there were 3.68 million viewers for season one. Uh, compared to like YouTube and stuff, that's not that much. But uh, for a TV show, that's and especially the first season, that's really good. Um, furthermore, Arrow is about a billionaire playboy named Oliver Queen who comes back from an island after five years and who plays an undercover vigilante with a bow and arrow who goes after the rich. So uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but he sounds kind of like Robin Hood, right? He's not Robin Hood. Uh, it's Green Arrow, if you haven't realized that's what the show is about. The show is about Green Arrow and his journeys through uh, all the struggle with him and his family and other people who are uh, uh, causing his, um, his city, Starling City, to deteriorate. So um, I want to talk about whether, whether this is a failing show or not because it's gotten a lot of hate recently. Uh, so first of all, uh, I don't think there's hate um, and here's why. Arrow is evolving fast. Um, I did watch the season 5 trailer even though I've only seen the first season um, which probably wasn't the best choice for me but it let me in on a little like knowledge about how Arrow will progress from season 1 to season 5 um, if you look at some other shows like Modern Family or um, yeah so some other shows that have been around for a while they don't, pro they don't uh, evolve too much but Arrow is constantly evolving constantly you know killing off characters and bringing in new ones that you like even more um, I, I think really they're, they, they're willing to keep changing if that's what it is that you want. Um, also, DC is sort of uprising right now, I have to say. So Marvel, yeah, I agree. Marvel has made significantly more progress in the last couple of years, and DC has been stagnating a little bit. But uh, I have to say that DC really pulled it together for Wonder Woman and Justice League, and Batman v Superman I thought was a really good movie. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're sort of going up there, and I think Arrow and The Flash... Um, TV shows are really going to rise as the DC Universe rises. Um, there's one thing, or one flaw I should say, about uh, this Arrow TV show, and that is uh, how dark it is, or the lack of comedy. Um, this thing is, I don't mind it too much, because in Batman v Superman, I was fine with it, but um, if you're watching 40 minute episodes every single day, um, and it's constantly about people dying, about people, you know, going through tough times. It really gets to you, and you, you, you sort of get a little sad at, at some point, and there are not that many jokes in it. So if you don't want to, if you don't like dark shows, then don't watch this. Um, however, it has really, um, it has really lost a lot of viewers recently. Um, so if you look at this chart, chart I'm pulling up right now, um, it gradually has lost viewers. Um... So right now it's going down in the ranks for uh, the TV shows, most viewed TV shows. Um, so you can see that um, that in the first season they had 3.68 million uh, viewers, and then the next one they had 3.28, and then um, they had 3.52, and then now it's in the two million zone. So as you can just see that uh, people are less and less people are watching. And that kind of saddens me because so far I really like the show. I can't say too much because, like I said, these are just impressions. These are not, this isn't something, this isn't a review of the Arrow uh, TV show because I haven't, I, I can't make a, 
an informed opinion about Arrow if I've only watched one season. You know, it might get bad in the next two or three seasons. But either way, um, it's a really, really good show as of right now. Um, so this October, season five does come out. Um, season five sh should be pretty good. I saw him training a lot of other cool people. Um, I'm not gonna mention who they are if you die, if I don't, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. But um, yeah, I, I'm really, really excited. Um, also, something I found interesting was that it actually averaged a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. If you have any idea of any of how strict and how harsh Rotten Tomatoes is on the ratings, you'll know that that is amazing to get a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, and, and I will be making a video pretty soon called the best of Comic-Con 2016 because uh, I think there's a lot of cool stuff that came out of Comic-Con and after like, you know, the cool tech events like IFA and uh, CES and, you know, MWC, I think Comic-Con's up there because uh, I'm really excited to see um, every year what new people are putting together and it just makes me so happy that people are so interested in superheroes and things like that. So if you want to see my uh, my impressions on Wonder Woman and the Justice League movie trailers, and you can click right there on my card. Uh, that will take you to the video that I made last week. And uh, overall, just thanks so much for watching, and make sure you uh, have <laughs> make sure you've been subscribed to this channel and comment below or like or whatever. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.